Hello everyone, my name is Evgeny Semenchuk. As always, in the end of the month I make a plumbing news video. Today I will share with you some news about technology and economical events, about exhibition and a lot of novelties. For example, from ICMA, OLI, Henko, Atlantic and Reflex and many other news. So watch till the end and subscribe to my channel. News from Wolf Company, from their French division uh, Wolf Friends. This is division that participate in Stellar Lab project together with other international partners such as NASA and SpaceX, which is engaged in enduring permanent human life on Moon and Mars. The goal is to create a capsule called Biopod. This is an inflatable dump shaper structure uh, that is able to constantly provide optimal conditions for growing plants. Relative humidity from 50% to 75% and temperature from 10 to 30 degrees prevail here. These parameters are provided by modulating the heat pumps that can heat and cool. Remeja Benelux Division, which is part of BDR Termera Group, is preparing to install fully hydrogen boilers is more than 10 test houses in the world's first hydrogen street in the Netherlands. These will be fully hydrogen boilers of second generation, developed at the research center in Bassano del Grappa in Italy. Siemens opened Germany's large green hydrogen production plant. It's capable of producing up to 1350 tons of hydrogen per year. Hydrogen at the plant will be produced at electrolyte plant with a capacity of 8.75 MW. Willow built a hydrogen power plant at one of their production sites. Photoelectric modules are installed on the roof of each workshop, which is used to provide energy for production and administrative building. Electrolysis work without any problem using electricity and water. Water is split into hydrogen and oxygen. After that, hydrogen is stored in unique containers. The new facility can provide 10 tons of green hydrogen per year. In addition, this German company celebrated its 150th anniversary in September. Wawin and Orbea Group announced the acquisition of Blau Plumbing Group, a leading manufacturer of plastic pipe and fittings for residential buildings in Montreal. Wawin's investment in Blau Plumbing Group uh, strengthens and expands their presence in North American market. Takanova Group acquires Hetlit Technical Solutions and Client Service Business. Hatlink is a provider of intelligent solution for heating and hot water supply. This move will increase Takanova's percent in the UK. Reti Group uh, reduced uh, ownership uh, stake in Purma Group. 1.5 million shares were sold uh, on September 1st. It was a share of 3.0%. After this deal, Reti Group's stake in Purma Group is 61 and 89%. After that, the value of Purma Group shares went down. I would like to note that the value of Purma Group shares has decreased by 22% over the past six months. Grundfos has decided to completely close their own business in Russia and Belarus. The last due to the closure is 851 million of DKK. Let me remind you that Honeywell made a similar decision last month. Italians from IGMA presented a new pump group for antichlor heating, IGMA K063. It has a simplified design and easy configuration. The next novelty from IMI Hydronics. They showed new the power ZT rotary body air and dirt separator. These separators are uh, characterized by a cyclone effect and heli steel technology. Portuguese manufacturer Oli has opened sales of a line flush panel. New electronic flush panel for Oli flush tanks is activated by an intelligent infrared sensor that detects a person in the bathroom and adapts the type of water flash. The panel is ideal for public space and has a stainless steel body. You can connect a remote control via Bluetooth. SB starts selling a new series of smart SB CRX200 controllers. New controllers optimize the use of heat. Softpair reduces significant heating peaks and distributes heat more evenly. 
for the first time Belgian company Henko is included in my new release. This company introduced a new generation of dryers for anti-flow heating. New generation of actuators replace the current one. New generation of actuators comes with one meter cable and is suitable for anti-flow heating controls unit. Atlantic presented a new product, Atlantic Extra M heat pump. It was created by Atlantic France and Astra Email AG, which is also part of group Atlantic. By the way, in my last video I told what other brands are part of Atlantic Group. There you also can learn about the largest manufacturers of boiler equipment in Europe. Link to this video is here at the top. Kermi showed new ventilation unit XWell VIV. It is recommended for premises with an area of up to 170 square meters and can be installed in residential blocks. In addition, Kermi added a new towel heater, multi-plus to their range. This is a compact combination of 600mm long towel heater and 176-200mm to shelf. Canterm has modernized their ultra-press system. First change is a change in color from black to white. Pipe labeling has also been updated, making it easier to correctly identify it. Thanks to these changes, production process reduced amount of non-recyclable technological waste by 50%. Fratelli Pernaroli has announced the expansion of their range of PICV valves, namely the addition of two models with a consumption range of up to 9000 liters per hour. Reflex announced that they will release a new product, Reflexomat XS, intelligent and compact pressure setting for small and medium sized system. Several events took place in September. SHK Essen 2022 in Germany, Aquaterm Almaty in Kazakhstan, Plumbex Dublin in Ireland. Aquaterm Tashkent exhibition in Uzbekistan. Next month there will be such events. Windbuild will be held in Helsinki from October 4 to 6. Interclima 2022 will be held almost on those days in Paris. Recovery Forum Ukraine 2022 will also be held in October. The purpose of this event is to accelerate financing for the reconstruction of destroyed communities. That's all. The next new release will be in a month. Thank you all and see you soon.